Um, okay, yes. Good afternoon or good morning or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Shalom. Uh, this is Dr. Bander and it's concerning uh, Israel and the Jewish rabbis and the false messiahs and the true messiah. Okay, in the world of Judaism, there are different groups. There are what you may call modern day Sadducees and modern day Pharisees operating in the world. Okay. Um, the, here's a list of some of the people that Jewish people today and in just the recent past have, have said this is a messiah you see when you don't read the Bible whether you're Jewish or Gentile we end up in a ditch okay for example we have names like uh, let me see the ones I found out yeah a man called Dositheos oh my goodness uh, in 150 AD, he came around and he said he's a messiah. And that some Jewish people followed him. But guess what? Dositheus was actually a Samaritan. He wasn't even Jewish. But why would Jews follow a Samaritan and say he's a messiah? See? And then there's another one called Theodos. Now, Theodos is very interesting because in the book of Acts chapter 1 and 2, right? He's actually mentioned. Because remember when the apostles went before the council of Ananias and Caphias and all the other high priests, right? And there was one called Gamaliel, okay? He said, hang on guys, when there was a bunch of people that followed Thedios, what happened? He petered out, right? The messianic movement that he started uh, died. So if we are fight, so if this, this movement of Jesus followers is fake, it's gonna die out. But if it's from God, you might be found to be fighting God himself. So they beat the apostles, put them in jail, and then they said, okay, that's it. Don't talk about Jesus anymore. And the apostle says, well, whether you consider right or wrong, we're going to follow Jesus and preach his name, okay? And they said, oh, brother. So Thedos was one of these false messiahs that many Jewish people followed instead of the real one who had come with Jesus Christ our Lord, okay? And then there's another guy called Judas of Galilee. He came around the same second century, and again, he was a false messiah. And then finally, just before Emperor Hadrian destroyed the country of Israel in 135 AD, there was a man called Simon bar -Kachoba. You can read about him on the internet. And he led Jewish people to believe that he was really the messiah. And he even had coins minted showing him, okay? But again, he was a false messiah. And as the Lord had said before, Israel will be destroyed by the Roman emperor who came in, destroyed the temple, and then the whole country as well. Sadly, between AD 70 under General Titus and 135 AD under Emperor Hadrian himself. And then after this, there was a man from uh, Lisbon, right? All the way in Portugal in 1532. His name was uh, Shalomo. Mokoa, and he said he's a messiah. And then another one, a rabbi, Rabbi Zevi, in 1676. He, he founded what was called the Sabbatim. In other words, people followed the Shabbat, the Sabbath, right? And then they were based in a country called Turkey, under the Ottoman Empire. So in 1676, there were people following this guy, whom they thought was a messiah. And then there was a woman messiah, Anna Lee, 1784. And then there was John Tom, 1838. And then there's a guy in 1965 who said, I'm the messiah. And now these are Gentiles, not Jewish pretenders. So-called Father Divine was a black American uh, chap and he died in 1965. So these are fakes. And then there's another woman, Ann Shaling Hung. Uh, of uh, South Korea. She died in 1985. Everybody followed her and said she's a messiah. And then there's that, this guy, Sang Young Moon of the Moonies. Remember them? Okay, South Korea. Sang Young Moon died in 2012. Okay. And then recently, 2007, there was a guy called Hulon Mitchell. But he was a mass murderer. Can you imagine? You say you're the messiah and you're killing people as mass murderers. Right, and then one more recent one is a guy called Wayne Bennett. Oh, sorry, Wayne Bent, B N T. He was born in 1941. Okay, uh, but this guy was convicted of sexually abusing people, 
especially in little boys and girls. All right. So, why are these people really Messiah? And then the Muslims have also taken the idea that they are messiahs in Islam. For example, Muhammad Ju Januri, who died in 1505, okay? And then there's a man called Mr. Bab, 1850, in Persia. And then there's another one called Mirza Ahmad in India. And this guy, 1908, was supposed to be the messiah in India, which is crazy. And he's the one who founded the Islamic group of the Ahmadiyyas. Okay? And then you have another Islamic guy called Adrian Okta, who was born in 1956, I believe he's still alive, and he resides in Turkey. So the question is, how come all these false messiahs have come and gone and some are still around? It's because they don't read the Word of God, the Bible. Okay? For example, where would the Messiah be born? Bible says uh, Bethlehem Ephra, okay? That's found in Micah chapter 5, verse 8. Bethlehem, Bethlehem, out of this shall come forth, okay? So the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Why Bethlehem? Because Bethlehem in Hebrew means the house of bread. And when Jesus Christ our Lord came to Israel, he actually identified as I am the bread which came down from heaven. He who eats of me shall have eternal life. So all these false messiahs that I've just listed have never given eternal life to anyone. But the Lord Jesus does. When you are born again by the Spirit of God, you, you become a follower of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. You said, I am the way, not a little bit of the little road, but the way, the life, and back to God the Father. And then the uh, Genesis says the scepter, the crown, shall not depart from Judah until the Messiah comes. So the Messiah, let's assume we don't know it's Jesus, whoever he is, would have to come before the year AD 30. Why? Because Genesis chapter 49 verse 10 says the scepter of Judah will not extinguish until the Messiah comes. So the Messiah cannot come after 8030 because Judah, as the ability to have the scepter, the crown, was taken away just before 8030. Okay? Numbers 24, verse 17 to 19 is another reference you can look at. And then the Messiah had to come back from the dead, the resurrection. Psalm 16, verses 8 to 11. Uh, Acts chapter 13 says the Messiah whom he just killed is the one who's been raised from the dead. Now, has Sun Yan Moon been raised from the dead? No. Has ba Baba been raised from the dead? No. Have any of these Jewish rabbis, so-called messiahs, been raised from the dead by themselves? No. Okay. And then the messiah had to be forsaken by the disciples. And this happened when the Lord was arrested on Mount uh, on, uh, on the Garden of Gethsemane, right? And then the disciples ran away. So have any of the apostles, sorry, of the, the followers of these false messiahs have exemplified been forsaken? No. And then uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, Jeremiah said centuries ago that the Messiah would bring a new covenant, right? A new testimony between God and man, between God and Israel. And the Lord Jesus says, this is the bread of the covenant. This is my blood of the covenant. So the blood of Jesus and the body which is broken is a new covenant, right, of between God and man. So when the Lord Jesus died and he said it is finished, that means the new covenant has become into effect because the old testimony as, as the laws, the ordinances are now gone because Jesus is a new covenant. And Jeremiah predicted this would happen. So, question. A sun, yan, moon, and all the other so-called false messiahs ever started a new covenant between God and man by them dying for the sins of the world? No. Okay. And then uh, the Lord Jesus had a soldier pierce his side. Zechariah chapter 12 is 10. Revelation chapter 1 and 7. Jesus says, pay attention, it is me. I was dead, I was uh, uh, buried, and I'm alive forevermore. I'm the first and the last. So the Lord Jesus uh, identifies all the credentials of who the real Messiah is. He's born in the right town, 
He dies on the right day, Passover, the 14th of April. He's raised from the dead on the 17th, three days later. He's forsaken by his apostles. He's actually, uh, one of the apostles actually is a traitor to him, right? My close friend uh, has gone and become a traitor, Judas Iscariot, right? And none of these things have occurred in any of these so-called uh, Jewish or Gentile so-called messiahs. And then finally, okay, Jesus is the only one who's virgin born, right? The angel Gabriel came down, that virgin child we call Emmanuel, God with us. Now, have any of these so-called false messiahs had the identification tag, Sun Yan Myun, we're born of a virgin. No, Papa, we're born of a virgin. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? Because only one has ever been born from the seed of the woman, and that is the true Messiah, the Lord Jesus, okay? And guess what, Daniel, was given a prophecy uh, from God to him when he was in Babylon, okay? And the Lord told ba uh, Daniel, through his angel Gabriel and Michael, in Daniel chapter 9, that the Messiah would come 490 years later from the time. So Jesus had to come, tick tock, tick tock, right on time, and then the temple would be destroyed. I've been in Israel. There is no temple there. And Jewish friends were great. There is no temple in Israel because the temple is destroyed by the Romans, okay? At the right time. So Jesus, or sorry, the Messiah, had to come before the temple was destroyed. Not afterwards, okay? That's Daniel, chapter 9. Matthew 24 agrees. And then the Messiah had to be a sin offering. That is found in Isaiah chapter 53. Okay, and 52, those two chapters, which rabbis don't want to read. So my, my Jewish rabbi friends, they don't want to read Isaiah 52 and Isaiah 53 because it's talking about the Messiah's death for the whole world. And then Jesus was crucified on Passover day. That's exactly the day of killing a lamb. So John the baptizer was the forerunner and he said, I have come, I'm not greater than the one coming after me. I'm not even worthy to untie shoelace, right? So John the Baptist was asked the question, are you the Messiah? He said, no. Are you Elijah? He said, no. Who are you? And John the Baptist has said, I am sent as the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. That was John's ministry, and he fulfilled it. So the one who came after John the Baptist was the real Messiah. So if the real Messiah came, then why on earth are these are the characters I read of earlier on? Theodorus, uh, Judas of Galilee, Simon Bakachober, Rabbi Zevi, Anna Lee, uh, Father Divine. They don't have the same credentials as the ones that the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, of Bethany, fulfilled. So we know who the real Messiah is, but many Jewish people, unfortunately, very sadly, don't realize this. Only few Jewish people know the real Messiah. So today, some Jews are following Mr. Shlomo in New York, which is not, he was not born in Bethlehem. Is he going to have a Roman soldier put a spear in his body, dying on the cross? Nobody gets crucified unless you go into ISIS territories. <laughs> but in Israel, nobody gets crucified. So the real Messiah came on time, he had the right credentials, and that's who Jesus, or Yeshua, Messiah of Israel really is. And today is a Pentecost day when the real Messiah sent the Holy Spirit, the Rakh HaKodesh, down to the apostles to have power to preach the Word of God all over the world, starting in Jerusalem, then Samaria, then all over the world. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Can I ask you a quick question then?